Jogging. 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 Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. The word for the day is be patient. This virtue is actually not easy to develop because mankind would like to be quick. We always want instant, instant thing to happen, instant food, and we don't want to wait. And this is actually one of the things that we're gonna develop in ourselves. Be patient. I can see this virtue in the animals, like the ducks. Imagine, this ducks would sit on her eggs for 35 days without any idea as to what gonna happen. But the instinct of this duck is really very patient that he has to sit on the eggs for 35 days and she knows that in the future, she gonna be able to see her chicks and look at the chicks of our ducks. These ducklings now are the symbol of the success. And this is not just an ordinary thing to observe, but to me, it's a miracle for these birds to be able to hatch their eggs patiently. I really find pleasure watching these geese because you know, these geese are very loving to humans, especially if you're the one feeding them. And you will note that I have made a coop for them, but they preferred to lay their eggs here. So I adjusted. I mean, I was the one who made an adjustment. I just put this cover so that the eggs will not get wet during rainy days. And you look at here, we have here big eggs of this geese. See? Wow. This is big. And I'm sure that 30 days or 40 days from now, we can see the babies of this geese. And they're so lovely. They're so cute. And actually, there are already four of them that are here. Ah, they laid four eggs. See that? This is the instinct of these animals. They really has the capacity to find place where to lay their eggs. Of course, if there is no human intervention because they are not in the wild, then I think this would not be hatched because this will be soaked with you know, water during the rain. But since they are here being pampered and taken care of by, you know, by human beings, so this is the kind of support that we're gonna do. So we made a makeshift right here, roofing, and then we will wait for 30 days. I don't know if what's the exact duration of the incubation period of the geese, but I believe that it's more than 30 days, maybe 35 to 40 days. So this talisay tree will give us the shade for our chickens. I just hope that this will survive. But uh, with this kind of uh, tree, I am confident that you know this will grow and big, will grow big, actually. And uh, I hope to see some you know branches over here to shade our chicken coop right here. And then that's the time as well that we can make cottages for our visitors. Actually, this area is quite big because if you will look at that coconuts, that's the, the boundaries. And close to one hectare, the effort that we're gonna do here is to be able to, you know, expand the place for our ducks. 
and I am set to also make a chicken coop right here just like in the old farm and this is gonna be the portion for our you know fowls and I'm looking forward to be able as well to transfer here the African lovebirds these cockatiels and even this uh, parakeets and also we are aiming to bring back the ostrich and you know you like lion or tiger <laughs> that's my dream actually to own a lion or tiger but the ultimate plan for this farm is to invite people to come and share with them our best practices and even the practice of lowering down the expenses especially for the food so we have here the azola how to plant this moringa this madre de agua this uh, grasses and there are actually simple tips to observe before we're gonna be uh, able to you know obtain success and these simple practices are already shared by me in our videos and uh, it's just that you know I would like to you know people to come in order to see the actual thing What we're trying to do here is to put some compost for our plants, our ornamental plants. And you know that this place is really barren. And I always said that the key to success is being be able to become patient. We can patiently and slowly doing things towards our goal. If we cannot do big things, we can start it with little things the things that we can do as of the moment and day by day it will give us source of inspiration because day by day you will see the result and this will inspire you to do a lot more so i'm looking at you know having this ornamental plants like in the house to fill this area because this is really best uh, for you know places like this it's in open space where the temperature is hot so this plant is really best for this and uh, our coconuts as well um, is thriving of course and these coconuts are dwarf coconuts that we can in the future uh, have a juice <laughs> I, I, I really love to drink coconut juice and uh, that's why uh, we're planting this and if you can come here, you can also drink in the future our coconut juice. <laughs> jogging! 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 Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Are you? Check attendance. So you, you will see the first batch of our ducks. This is the second batch. And the third batch are actually plenty. So our aim for this year is to be able to raise 1,000 ducks. I think we can do that. Very noisy. Very noisy. Very noisy. <laughs> you see, this is the first batch. <laughs> Very fat. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what about you? What about you? <laughs> it's really very enjoyable spending time here. And today is a holiday actually. That's why we can stay longer here and enjoy with our pets.
As you can see over there, we have these ducklings. There are 45 of them actually. But sad to say that uh, yesterday I saw a big lizard eating some of them. So I failed to count how many were actually uh, devoured by the lizard. But it's okay because this is a farm and we have predators. Only that we have to make some adjustments, we have to make some efforts in order to preserve the lives of these uh, innocent uh, animals. So thank you guys for watching. The word for the day, don't forget, is be patient. And if you are undergoing trials, troubles in life, just be patient because God is doing the process for you. And shout out to the members of the channel, to our subscribers. We are close to 1.5 million subscribers and I'm happy that we are going strong. With this farm, we are going strong, I should say. And I would like to see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World.